I really, really love media. The Flash's visual effects are meant to look like that. Are they really? Behave. They're meant to look atrocious? Come on now, guys. Now, the funny thing about this, like, I didn't mind the film. I've given a relatively positive review of this film. But one of the things which is unequivocally bad about it is the visual effects. And they're trying to say... <laughs> they're trying to say that all this was intended. It's not, because the example that they give as the intention is also mirrored later in the film. It's in the trailer. Supergirl. She looks like some rubber band, Play-Doh, plasticine piece of shite. You're going to tell me the reason for one thing looking like shit, but then there's another thing that equally looks exactly the same level of horrendous. Textures are all wrong. But there's no... You, that same reason you've applied to the first instance can't be applied to that. So we know that they're talking crap. Like, we know it. Now, I get it. This is a tricky thing to navigate as the director. You can't really sit there and go, yeah, the visual effects are crap, sorry. But also, it's a real bad reasoning and bad lie. So hit subscribe if you're new here. Again, I've got to preface this. I did my review yesterday. I'll leave it linked above. I enjoyed this film. I watched it on Wednesday night. You know, it, for all intents and purposes, it was all right. Like, it was fine. Like a five, five out of ten, six out of ten maybe, I guess. Nothing like out and out offensive. It was just meh. It was fine. You know, I've seen much much better films for sure, um, but it wasn't horrendous. So, you know, this isn't me ragging on it. Um, and just as well, just to jump in, lots of people say I've been ragging on this film for months, and then oh, I've gone out and liked the film. Well, because ladies and gents, that's what adults can do. Two things can be true at exactly the same time. Ezra Miller can effectively be a dirty nonce and an abuser and a groomer and someone who harasses people. The film can also have way too high a budget and probably not turn a profit and it can still be an all right film in my opinion. Those things, ladies and gents, that's, the, that's an adult perspective of the world where you can view things separately and distinguish between the two. Oh my God. Anyway preamble and ramble out the way let's take a look so this was a gizmodo article some slight spoilers in here guys just as an fyi some slight spoilers you've been warned so they say this you know one thing most superhero movies have going for them is how they should look so batman spider-man iron man they all look pretty good looks fine exact you know whatever the Flash, when Barry Allen puts on his suit and taps into his powers, the world around him does change, at least to Barry, and figuring out what that's going to look like is one of the challenges of the adaptation. This is the reason they're giving for it all looking bad, but that doesn't make sense because the textures on everything visually is bad. The textures on Ben Affleck's cape, which is all CGI, is horrendous. The textures on Ezra Miller's Barry Allen's costume is horrendous. The texture of the fully CGI'd Supergirl is horrendous. This has got nothing to do with the reason they're giving. They just didn't spend any money on it. Because all the money was put elsewhere on marketing, on reshoots. Now they say this, you'll see that play out in Warner Brothers The Flash, which is in theaters yesterday, and actually in Wednesday. Um, but here's the situation. So, director Andy Machete had to create a whole new visual language, not just for when Barry is running in the Speed Force, but also later in the movie when he runs so fast he can turn back time in a place called the Chrono Bowl. And any time the movie is in the Speed Force or Chrono Bowl, any other human being that isn't Barry looks, let's say, weird. Almost like the film had to hit a release date and wasn't able to finish the visual effects, which sounds bad, but bear with us. This is nonsense. And FYI, even in that chrono bowl, the visual effects weren't uniformed across them all either. So again, that's why you know that this is nonsense and they're just talking absolute shit. So, spoilers. I've given you the warning already. Uh, the first example, and the one we're going to focus on here, is in the opening action sequence. 
when Barry Allen Ezra Miller runs to Gotham City to help Bruce Wayne stop a falling building. As that happens, an entire nursery of babies falls out the window and Barry has to save them all in milliseconds. The effects, as described above, look a bit off, so when io9 spoke to the Machetes, director Andy and producer Barbara, about the Flash, we asked if that was the intention. A bit off. They look like they've been moulded out of plastic. They're horrendous. The textures, they haven't been textured. There's literally no textures there. It's awful. And they said this, no, we used all real babies, Barbara joked. But then Andy gave us the real answer. The idea, of course, is we're in the perspective of the Flash. Everything is distorted in terms of lights and textures. We enter this water world, which is basically being in Barry's point of view, and it was part of the design. So if it looks a little weird uh, to you, that was intended. Wait, are those visual effects real? Did they finish that? Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. <laughs> and this is, what, <laughs> this is what I mean. Supergirl looked awful in the trailer. Absolutely atrocious. Now that isn't the same reasoning that they can give here. They can't say that. That same uh, logic doesn't apply to Supergirl. She just looks shit. She just looks utterly, utterly terrible. Right? Not good. Really not good. Um... And again, not only that, you also have the visual effects of Barry Allen's costume in this. The costume looks terrible as well. Again, no textures. The suit that Ben Affleck wears, the cape, no textures. It's not a case... And the, the fact is, they didn't run out of time either. And this is all just nonsense, right? This whole... What they're saying here is just basic excuses. But they didn't run out of time. This movie's been in the can for years. It's just that they didn't know what they were going to do with it. So I think that they put pause on things uh, and stopped spending money on the visual effects because they didn't know if they were going to have to scrap the whole film because of Ezra Miller's, you know, dirty, dirty nonsense, basically. Alleged. So, look, it is what it is, but the flash visual effects are not meant to look like that. They're not. I mean, you can say they are tangentially by the fact that, well, they stopped making, you know, they stopped finishing it. They would have wanted them to look better because even in the Chrono Bowl, there were some visual effects that looked real. Like, much better visual effects. So no, these visual effects suck. Anyway, what did you think of The Flash? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know down below. Take care.